overcoming intimidation. Today, friends, in our first reading, we are hearing St. Paul talking to the Ephesians in his letter to them, and he is telling them that let them have the armor of God on them because they are not fighting their own wars but, but they are fighting the wars of the evil one they are fighting the wars against the evil one rather and they must have the armor of God on them and what is the armor of God? The armor of God is faith. When you have faith in God, you are able to fight, intimidate, to overcome intimidations that the devil is bringing to you. And for sure, friends, men of faith overcame intimidations, Abraham being one of them, Jacob being another. And uh, friends, we can also be amongst the number of those who are overcoming intimidations from the evil one. And in our gospel today, we are also finding Jesus facing intimidation from uh, the Pharisees. These people were not warning Jesus out of goodwill. They were for sure driven by jealousy. That is why they were telling Jesus that Herod wanted to finish him. And the response of Jesus is immediate. The response of Jesus is like fire that is burning. And he tells them that, go and tell that fox that I am performing the work of God today here, tomorrow, and even the day after tomorrow, that is when I'll go to a place where I'll give God the glory. That is Jerusalem. Then we hear again Jesus talking about Jerusalem. And he is crying over Jerusalem. And it is like Jerusalem is persecuting. Jerusalem has been intimidating and even killing the prophets that are brought to her, according to what we have heard here. So friends, let our homes not be places where intimidations are orchestrated, where intimidations are cooked. Fathers intimidating their wives, Parents intimidating their children and provoking them. Mothers intimidating their children, provoking them. Let intimidations not be there. And you know, friends, sometimes someone can come to you with a gossip trying to tell you something that uh, your enemy said not out of goodwill but the person wants to intimidate you the person wants you to have a fear so that you don't perform that which God wants you to perform so that you don't be productive because by uh, by having uh, fear, in the presence of fear, our strength to perform our duties can sometimes be diminished. Sometimes, 
not all the times. So friends, we pray that all those people who bring intimidations to you in the form of gossip, because of their jealousies, because of their worries, because of what they feel or their emotions, we pray today that God to help them realize that they are doing something wrong. And let us not encourage intimidations of any kind. Jesus didn't encourage it. And since we are following Jesus, we will not encourage it. May God bless you all. And may you have the armor of God. That is faith. May your faith help you to win all the wars that are brought by intimidations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.